Let's see how easy it is to create a new VLAN and add switch ports to that new VLAN. I'm going to start by hitting enter on the CLI or command line interface of our Cisco switch. We are prompted for a password to gain access, which has been configured beforehand. After entering the password, we are greeted by the user prompt. Let's enter Enable to enter into Privileged Exec Mode, where configuration changes can be made. A second pre-configured password is required to be entered. Let's enter Global Configuration Mode by entering Configure Terminal. Let's see what VLANs are currently configured on the switch by typing do show VLAN. As you can see, the only VLAN on the switch is the default VLAN 1. Also notice that all of the switch ports currently belong to our default VLAN 1. There are several other VLANs configured at the bottom. These are present also by default to support old, obsolete technology that is no longer used today. Let's create a new VLAN. I'm going to type VLAN 40. Notice the prompt changes to VLAN configuration mode. I'm going to give this VLAN a name by entering name demonstration. Let's exit out of VLAN configuration mode and check to see the new VLAN has appeared. As you can see, the new VLAN is now present, but none of the switch ports are a part of it. Let's add switch ports 13 through 20 to our new VLAN. I'm going to type interface range fast ethernet 13 to 20. Notice the prompt changes again to indicate that we will be affecting a range of switch ports. We will change the mode of these switch ports to access by typing switch port mode access. Now we will add all of the switch ports in our range to VLAN 40 by typing switch port access VLAN 40. Let's exit out of the interface range configuration and verify that the switch ports we have selected are now part of VLAN 40. They are. Now any PC or any other end device that is plugged into switch ports 13 through 20 will now automatically belong to VLAN 40.